Hi there, welcome to Get Fit with Gosha. Today is day nine of Fierce 30, your 30 day fitness challenge to get you leaner, stronger, and more confident. Today's focus is on the core. We will do some cardio intervals and you need some equipment today. So like I told you yesterday, you need sliders or cloths, so two towels or cloths, and also a set of weights. These are optional. I will be using them for a few exercises, mine are three pounds. Beside that, get your yoga mat and you need water, towel, good music, good attitude, and let's get this workout on the road. We're gonna start with a short warm up. All right, warming up the core. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, come all the way down. Take your time, warm up the lower back. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more times. Take a full breath. Fill your lungs with oxygen. One more time. Up and out. Now stay here. Open up the legs. And do a windmill with your arms. So twisting at the waist. Try to lift your arms up as high as you can. Keeping the elbows straight. Keep going. And come down to the ground. Grab your elbows. Hang here for a few seconds. Let go. Relax your head completely. Let go of all the tension in those shoulders and in the neck. Hang here a few more seconds. Place your hands together. Feet together. Stay here. You're going to walk your hands forward. And rock forward and back. In this position. A few more. And five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down to the ground. Place the hands underneath your shoulders. Breathe in, drop the spine. Breathe out, round it up. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, round it up. It's like a cat stretch. To warm up the lower back, warm up the core. So for the next 30 minutes, Forget about everything that you have to do today and focus on yourself. Keep going. A couple more. One more time. And round that spine. And I'll get your knees up off the ground. Come into high plank position. Make your spine nice and straight, long. From here, pike. And come back to high plank. Make sure you're not dipping your lower back down. So I want you to get used to this movement where you control coming down to a straight spine, controlling it with your stomach. It doesn't matter if you cannot bring the heels down in a pipe, doesn't matter. Focus on the midsection, your lower back and your abs. And one more time. And bring the knees down to the ground again. Bring your right arm up, left leg behind you, elbow to the knee. Squeezing that belly in. Give me 10 more here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, changing sides. Left arm, right leg, here we go. Elbow in for 15. 10 to go. Then we're gonna get right into our exercises. In every set we have three exercises and each set is repeated twice. I lost count, I'm not good at counting, that's why I use my timer. Two more, last one. Place your hands under the shoulders. Pick the knees up off the ground. Just stay here in a downward dog for a little bit. Shake your head out. Relax the neck. And walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend the knees. Roll yourself up. Shoulders back. So the first exercise is one minute long. And you need weights. 
Well, it's optional. If you don't have to use them. We're going to do a controlled knee up with weights. So if you're using your weights, grab them now. I'm going to get my timer. Have your sliders ready because we're moving between weights and sliders. We only have 10 second transition. Let's go. Okay. Bend the elbows. Elbows in. Bring your knee up to meet the elbow. Let me go sideways so you can see me. So it's basically a standing crunch. And you're lifting one knee up. Take your time. This is not a cardio interval. This is a strength interval. So focus on muscle contraction, controlling the movement with your abdominal muscles and your hip flexors, muscles in front of your hip. And you're going to feel your shoulders too a little bit. So this exercise, one minute long. Next exercise is 45 seconds long. And the third exercise is 30 seconds long. Three, two, one. Time. Place the weights down. And you're coming onto your sliders. You need both of them. Coming into high plank position. And mountain climbers, we're going to start slowly. Forward and back. Forward and back. And again, make sure your spine is nice and straight. Now, if you want to go faster, you can do this movement. If this is hard enough for you today, stay with a slower controlled movement. So you choose higher intensity or lower. Still have 15 seconds here. And you're going to feel the bar. Stay low. Three, two, one. Stand up. And now we have in and out squats. So this is your cardio interval. Three, so start with your feet two, out wide. One. Hands down to the ground. Let's go in and out squats. You don't have to jump high. Just move, focus on the outward and inward movement with your legs, with your feet. Going. Only 30 seconds here. <clears throat> Three, two, one. And time. Okay, now you have a 15 second recovery. Like I said, every set is repeated twice. So we're going to do the same thing one more time. So grab your weights again. Three, two, one. Elbows up. Exercise one. Let's go. Control, driving the knee up to the chest. <clears throat> You're doing awesome. One minute here. And breathe. The cardio intervals are only 30 seconds long. But they get your heart rate pumping. They help to burn the fat. So they are good for us. Keep going. Keep bending forward. Almost there. Three. Awesome two, work. One. Rest. And back to mountain climbers. You choose the speed, slow or fast. Three, two, one. High plank. Exercise two. All right, let's go. I'm going to start slowly, then I'll speed it up. The last 25 seconds. Control. Try to bring that knee forward as far as you can. Again, focusing on the muscle contraction. All right, faster. And if you have hard with floors, you can polish the floors at the same time as you're exercising. 
So, three. feeling two birds with one stone. Rest. And time. Okay, in out squats. Feet out wide. Three, two, one. Stay low. Exercise. Let's go heads inside and outside. Keep going. Moving those feet. Woo! Two. Feel the burn. Yes. All right. That was set one. Moving to set number two. Get your mat. <clears throat> Put on my mat. Here it is. Have a seat on your mat.
to the end. Come on, keep working. Three, two, one. Fast. All right. Put the weights away. Come out of the way, or you can just fold it up. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and bring the slider closer to you. Two. Lay down. Exercise two. Bridge. Slide out. Up. Bring that butt up as high as you can. And breathe through it. Squeeze the butt. Focus on the squeeze as the hips go up. Keep going. Two, two one, next. All right, stand up. Put the sliders away. Put them out away. And we have heel taps. Three, two, one. You can move the arms. Let's go. Bend the knees. Stay low. And smile. Keep going. Speed it up. Come on, last eight seconds. Go. last week but without the weight so today we're going to add extra weight to it so lay on your back Exercise. left arm is up and you bring your right leg in we're going to do 30 seconds per side here up and your arm should be straight close to your ear you can use your right hand to help yourself up off the ground Couple more. And now change arms. So your right arm, left leg is coming up. Keep that arm close. Sit all the way up. 10 more seconds here. Let me grab our sliders again. Move them out of the way, grab your sliders. So you can keep them up close actually because you're on your hands. So just so it's nice and soft on the hands. Okay, you go out, in, forward, back. Out, in, forward, and back. Just so it's easier on your wrists here. Out, in. Bring your feet as close to your hands as possible. And breathe through it. This one's pretty tough, but it's good. Almost there. Okay, for cardio, for extra intensity, you can add your weights. We're doing star punches. You know those from last week's videos. Hands up. Exercise two. And with your feet. Now add the arms. 30 seconds here. And punch it forward. I know my shoelace is undone. I'm going to tie it during the break. Almost there. Three, two, one. And rest. Okay, you are officially halfway through this workout. You can pause the video. 
my timer says only 15 second recovery, but we're going to take a little bit longer, so I'm going to stop it right now. Two, one. I need to tie my shoe, drink some water. Again, you can take longer if you want, or you can stick around with me here. Okay, we're going to do routine number two, sorry, routine number three, second set. Starting with Turkish get up, get your mouth ready. Are you ready? Lay on your back, grab your weight in your left arm. Starting the timer. Exercise one. All right, lay on your back. Let's go. Up. Right leg comes in. So it's always working in a position. 30 seconds per side. Keep pushing up. A few more reps here on this side. One more. And changing sides. Continue. Right arm. Left leg. Or if you did the opposite, just make sure you did both sides. Squeeze the belly in.
the way. We're gonna do 22 seconds on one side, 22 seconds on the other side. And you want to keep your hips off the ground. All right, let's do the other side now. Elbow underneath the shoulders. We're gonna work a little bit extra past the timer. Go. Stack your feet together. Three, two. Five more seconds. Keep on going. Don't stop yet. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Time. Stand up. Next exercise is called X jump. Legs up wide. One hand to the opposite hand. Jump up. Down. Jump up. Bend forward. So you want to make yourself into an X ladder. X shape. And up. And we're back to exercise number one, which is side bends. Rub your weights. Have your slider ready. Go between the slider and your mat. Hands up. Side to side. Feet together. Knees slightly bent. So a little micro bend in your knees. off the ground, not feet, sorry, your hips, you have to keep your feet on the ground and your elbow, keep going, a few more reps and swing it over to the opposite side, feet on top of each other, elbows underneath and 22 seconds here. Single, single, 
and Davasan. Starting with my left leg and set number two, I'm going to start with my right leg. Or you can keep alternating. Nice. Keep going. Keep those knees as straight as possible here. Working the lower part of the abdominal muscle. And drop. Breathe through this exercise. Three, two. And time. Next. Now using a slider. Okay, so for this exercise, um, go on your elbows or on your hands. On your elbows is easier. Two. On the hands is harder. Exercise. I'm going to start with my elbows. You're going to slide out, come back. Slide out, come back. Now try it on the hands if you want to. Out, a little bit harder. Also a bit more challenging on the lower back. So if you have any pain in your lower back, slide out just a little bit, come back. Go on your elbows, control. You have more control like that. At the end of the movement, Press the hips down, but make sure they don't touch the ground. Three, two, one. Last time. Stand up. Now we're going to do heel taps. You choose the speed. All right? Three, two, one. Ready? Exercise three. Go. So set one, we're going to do in front. Set two, we're going to do in the back. Tap the heel. Go. Halfway. Three, two, one. Time. And this is it. Last set of the day. We're starting with exercise number one, leg drops. Lay on your back. Bring your legs up. Two, one. Single, single double. So now I'm going to start with my right leg. And double. Come on, finish strong. Last set of the day. Last three exercises. Stay with me here. You can also, if you want, you can put your hands under the lower back. That way, you're not, your lower back does not curve when you go down. And it's more supported. So your hands are actually underneath your lower back and your butt. Controlling the movements. Going slowly. Three, two, one. Fast. All right, stand up or kneel, I should say. You can fold the mat, grab your sliders, choose to do this exercise on your hands or on two, your elbows. One. Exercise two. Ready? Go. Come all the way back. Fun, just sliding forward back. Again, you can clean the floor with this exercise. You can polish your hardwood floor. Almost there. I can see my floor needs a lot of cleaning. Three, two, one. <laughs> one more. And last exercise of the day, heel taps in the back. Put them out of the way. Again, you choose your speed. Okay, ready? Let's go. Looks kind of silly, but doesn't matter. 
and it's also good for your coordination. Keep going, keep going. Your timer is complete. Thank you so much for working out with me and sweating with me. Now I'll give you the tip of the day, which is spend some time by yourself every day. Shut everything off. Shut yourself into your favorite room. Put on some relaxing music. Write, draw, meditate at least 10 minutes. Just spending time reflecting and it's gonna do lots of benefits for you okay so tomorrow we are going into day 10 we're gonna do pure cardio lots of kickboxing intervals lots of high intensity cardio intervals so be ready have a good rest and i will see you tomorrow adios thanks for watching Subscribe to Ghost Channel Fitness and like her videos.